36. Make it four straight wins for the men's basketball team and make it three straight Big Ten Freshman of the Week awards for Ethan Happ. The forward averaged 15 points and eight rebounds for the Badgers. Welcome into your weekly press pass. Coach Greg Gard has his team improving individually as a group, and those words are coming from Barry Alvarez. You talk about improving. Uh, you you try to put your players in the best possible positions. Uh, I see them playing uh, an entire game, winning tough games, and uh, so I, I've been I, I've been very very much impressed. There's no talk about what it means for the long term, but that's definitely not what Coach Guard is focused on right now. Whether I have a three-month contract or a ten-year contract. During the season, as a coach, you bunker down. For me, it's just about the next day and the next game, and that's that's what I that's what I can focus on because that's the most important thing right now for this team is for us to focus on what's next. What's next for the Badgers is Ohio State. UW hosts the Buckeyes at the Kohl Center Thursday. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. on ESPN. The women's tennis team is getting set to host one of the most prestigious events of the year with the ITA National Indoor Championships. Seven of the nation's top ten teams will be in town. It's a great chance for the Badgers, who just beat 44th ranked Houston, to see how they stack up against the best. The differences between a team like ours and a team like Vanderbilt are very little, but the little things make a big difference in the result. Um, I'm hoping at the very least my players will get to see that this week, regardless of the results. The ITA Indoor Championship runs Friday through Monday and is open to the public. The women's hockey team takes its eight-game win streak to Ohio State this weekend. Earlier this year, the Badgers won by a combined score of 15-0. But the game is a little different in Columbus because the Buckeyes play on a small sheet of ice. Things are going to happen quicker. There's not really a lot of time or space. Uh, it's more like uh, watching ping pong where the puck goes back and forth and uh, there's not a lot of connected passes. It's just a different type of game. The puck drops at 6 p.m. Friday and at 3 on Saturday. The women's basketball team only has one game this week, and it's also at Ohio State. The Badgers are on a six-game slide right now, their longest of the season, but they're not giving up. We're on a little skid here um, with our, with our uh, production and, and our um, ability to get a win, but uh, our kids are fighting hard. We've had some good looks at the basket numerous times, and um, we just need to knock those shots down, which we know they can and have done and will do again. Wisconsin and seventh-ranked Ohio State tip off at 6 p.m. in Columbus on Thursday. That's your press pass. For UWBadgers.com, I'm Brandon Spiegel.